way to do friends. Hi, it's Heather here. And Lydia, your teacher friends, and we're very excited today to bring to you a math activity that requires your students to exercise their imagination. As we all pretend that we're living on Mars and we have a need to be spending some currency. So this is an activity where students create their own currency. And in order to do that, they'll have to have an understanding of Australian currency. Here are the materials you'll be needing for this. Great, so we're gonna show you some examples of currencies that we've just quickly made up, something that might be like what your students have done. Just using, I've got some uh, bottle tops and paper here. Uh, my currency, I've got craters. Wow. And moons. So, so are the craters meant to, uh, to, to represent smaller currencies? Yeah, smaller so values? I've tried to make these ones here a bit like our coins from okay. our money. Mm -hmm. And then these bigger ones here, for things so I can buy like mm. shoes and a couch and stuff on Mars. Now similarly I've got uh, stars representing the smaller value in our uh, smaller values in our currency and we've got rockets representing the larger values. Okay where do we go next? Well there's a whole lot of different ways we could use this in mm. our classroom but how about we kind of need we've got our catalogues here to give us a bit of an idea of how much things are going to be worth. Because if we're going to talk about buying things, we need to have an idea. And we've just picked catalogues, for uh, supermarket catalogues, because that's nice and easy. That's right. So maybe we could agree to what, in your currency and in my currency, how much are we going to pay for an orange? So the idea of using a catalog is to give students an idea of how things are priced, the value of different currencies and how things are priced in the world that we live in. So by giving them an idea of what um, fresh produce costs and an idea of what larger items cost, students can then decide for themselves the same kind of value that would be represented in their currency. I'm gonna, in my currency, in craters, I'm gonna say an orange is 20 craters. How many and stars? You're not gonna charge me rockets for an orange. In my world, citrus grows really quickly, so I'm gonna charge 12. Oh, that sounds cool. 12 stars for the same so lemon. We could, if we had more time in our classroom, we could set up a little Mars shop and I could come and buy things with my currency and you could help me out with the prices. Absolutely. And in my shop, I'll be selling, selling footwear like, uh, you know, anti-gravity boots and Velcro Lots of sandals. <laughs> Lovely. I my think shop for that. I might not be able to spend craters. They're going to cost me a bit more. Absolutely. So I might need to take in all of my moons so that I can get myself some nice Mars boots. That sounds good. So through this activity, students will gain an appreciation of the value of things that they see around the shops. And this is more so important these days when we're no longer using currency, you think? And we're just tapping mm. on the, with our <laughs> cards everywhere. Yeah, and one of the lovely things about this activity is that depending on how much time or effort you want to put into it, you can mm. change it to suit that. You don't need to have all the craft materials. You could just have kids writing things down or you could just go nuts with it and have your whole classroom running on Martian currency for the week. If nothing else, they will be prepared to live on Mars. <laughs> That'll be great. Have fun. Have fun. <laughs>